Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to back your turquoise cabochons. And I have three stones here, and they're from the Sleeping Beauty Mine here in the US, in Arizona, and it's known for its light blue turquoise. They're really beautiful stones, and I wanna make maybe some pendants, maybe a ring. So I'm sure you're wondering, like, why do I need to back my turquoise? So the main reason is that turquoise is a, it's a very fragile stone and it breaks easily. And then the other reason is that some of these are cut kind of thin and they don't have a lot of depth. And so I want to give them a little more height because I think they'll look prettier in the setting with some height. So I'm going to walk you through the process. For this, you're going to need a paper plate, a popsicle stick, a two-part epoxy, some tape, and your stones. I've cut some of the tape into strips like this, and I'm going to wrap it around the turquoise. So I want it to be even, and I don't want the, um, the JB Weld to get all over the place. So I'm wrapping it like this really carefully. have my stones wrapped and I am getting this this JB Weld mixed. It's a two-part epoxy. Pretty gross. Um, I guess it's supposed to dry tan. Ew. This is about to get really messy. So I am kind of actually just like scooping it into here and luckily it has a 15 minute drying time and I have the tape on the edges. So, but I just want to get it kind of even and also to like keep the front of the stone away from it. Something tells me there's an easier way to do this, but I think that the final product will come out really cool. Okay, so I'm done. I got the, the product in pretty well. I'm glad I got the one with 15 minutes. So, um, cause it's kind of goopy and you need some time to kind of move it around once it's in there. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and then come back and check on it and see if it's ready. It was pretty firm. I think I'm gonna need to sand it though, because it's it's definitely like firm. It looks pretty good, but it's a little bit uneven. So I let this dry for about an hour and a half, and then I um, you know took the tape off and I sanded them down to the the height that I wanted it to be and I made it even so that it sits nice and flat and I feel like they're about right they're gonna look good with a silver bezel they're the right height and everything so none of the epoxy is gonna show I hope you liked my video and that you learned something I really like the way my stones came out they look nice and even and next time I'd like to show you how to set a piece of turquoise or another stone into a bezel setting.